baby, this is what we are talking about. Take a look at this Frank Saravelli tweet from about an hour ago. The New Jersey Devils and Jesper Brat are closing in on an eight-year extension with an AAV of $7.875 million a year. The total? $63 million, which is his jersey number. That's so cool, isn't it? The first reply to this Saravelli tweet is from Elliot Friedman saying, I broke it first. And yeah, that's... um. That's not Elliot Friedman, everybody. That's a parody account. But Friedman was the guy that went out there and tweeted this out first. If you go over to the timeline here, yeah. Actually, no, it was Pierre Lebrun who went out there and tweeted this. But, um, yeah. Jesper Brat has a contract, and this is a very, very good move. Anybody who's going out there and complaining about this deal just doesn't like signing good players. That's it. Jesper Brat is 24 years old, so this contract takes him until he's going to be 32, 33. He's turning 25 in about a month from now, but the 5'10", 174 pound left-handed forward is signed till the end of 2031, and for a guy who had 73 points in 82 games this most previous season, that's a pretty good number. Now, he had a pretty good season last year, too, same amount of points in fewer games, but realistically, for what Jesper Brod is able to bring, which is very solid playmaking, very good offensive instincts, good motor, especially for a guy drafted in the sixth round back in 2016, this is a miracle story right here. Jesper Brat has done everything to prove everybody wrong ever since he was drafted, and now as a guy who was sort of up in the air as to whether or not he'd re-sign or not, he's proving everybody wrong again by saying, yeah, I'm going to take a deal that's not that bad. Like, realistically, $7.8 million is more than acceptable for a guy who can maybe get you 75 to 80 points per season if everything goes right. If Jesper Brat has an absolute prime year, which he's due to have because he's only 24 years old, let's say he's 26, he really settles in, he's playing with Hughes the entire time, it's not out of the question for Jesper Brat to maybe get a 90-point season, maybe 95, maybe if you really wanted to stretch it, 100 points. This is a guy who's going to be making a fewer dollar amount, or a lesser dollar amount, I guess you could say, than Jack Hughes. And they were able to fit him under the contract status of Jack Hughes. Because Jack Hughes, of course, got 100 points this previous season. He's making $8 million. And for Jesper Brat to go out there and be making just a little bit under than that, under than that, fewer than that, it works out just fine for everybody in the Devils organization. I know Jack Hughes only had 99 points, but let's face it, he had 78 games played. If he had played the remaining four, he probably would have gotten 100, and this guy's making eight. So you've got Brat, you've got Hughes, both locked up till 2030 at the very least at 8 million and 7.8 million. And for Jesper Brat, I mean, this is really best case scenario here now, isn't it? All you got to do now is just hope that you can sign Timo Meyer to a deal that is as good as this one. You may have to break the bank a little bit, but that's okay. If you go over to the New Jersey Devils and their cap-friendly page, let's take a look at how much cap space they've got. $26 million right now, which is pretty all right, considering they have money to re-sign Timo Meyer. But of course... There's everybody else in this team, too. Sharangovic, Eric Haula, Thomas Tatar. You're not going to be able to re-sign everybody, but at the end of the day, the most important ones are getting done quickly. So if you're a New Jersey Devils fan, what are your thoughts about Jesper Brat signing a contract here? Eight-year extension, $7.875 million AAV. It's his jersey number here. Sentimental contract for sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vrishash, Charles 99. And... Bye.